Welcome to Direct Current Deep Dive, exploring the technical framework of Current OS, a MOOC designed to dive into the principles behind Current OS technical decisions and their role in defining the electrical standard for DC microgrids. This video is part one of a six part series. Explore the remaining videos on the Current OS YouTube channel to continue learning about the world of direct current. In this video, we'll establish the context and reasoning behind Current OS work explain the underlying principles that drive current OS's technical choices, highlighting why so many companies have joined forces in this collaboration within current OS. Quick note, from now on, we'll refer to direct current as DC and alternating current as AC for simplicity. First, let's see what is current OS. We are a nonprofit organization defining standards for DC microgrids and installations. Our vision is to empower a sustainable future by enabling reliable electricity access for all. Current OS primary goal is to build a consensus for shared DC electrical rules among our partners. This open partnership brings together a diverse and growing community of contributors, such as load manufacturers, equipment manufacturers, electricity stakeholders, installers, integrators, construction firms, certification companies, trade groups, universities, and more. Current OS welcomes new members to join this effort, contributing to the future of DC distribution standards. Our partnership includes industry leaders such as ABB, Eaton, Schneider Electric, Tridonic, UL Solutions, Siemens and Cohn, just to name a few, alongside niche experts and innovative startups. Together, our partners represent over 25 countries across North America, Europe and Asia, with more joining every month. Current OS partners actively participate in working groups, shaping the technical standards for DC distribution. Additionally, Current OS holds Liaison A status with the IEC Systems Committee for Low Voltage Direct Current, underscoring our commitment to international standardization. The electrical rules developed by Current OS are far from theoretical. They are continuously refined through real-world DC microgrid projects implemented by our partners as shown on the slide. These projects allow current OS to enhance the accuracy of the DC standards we've been defining while demonstrating the unique benefits of DC systems. Examples of these projects include EV charging stations in parking lots, office buildings, housing estates, data centers, street lighting, as well as university programs. Current OS is also an associated partner in Shift to DC, a 11 million plus European Union funded program deploying DC solutions across four key domains, office buildings, data centers, ports, and industrial facilities. There are four key considerations underlying all of current OS's technical decisions. They are addressing DC safety concerns, creating a multi-vendor system, making DC installations simple for any professional, and taking building energy resilience to unseen levels. First, addressing DC safety concerns. Safety perception remains a significant challenge with direct current, as many electricians are cautious about adopting it. Demonstrating that today's technology has resolved DC safety concerns is crucial for its widespread acceptance. Second, creating a multi-vendor system. Today, many manufacturers offer DC microgrid solutions, but these are often proprietary. This means that photovoltaic converters, battery chargers, and AC-DC converters from different brands cannot interoperate. Current OS aims to create truly open ecosystem where products from different brands can work seamlessly together. Third, making DC installations simple for any professional. DC must be accessible and easily scalable to all industry intermediaries, from design offices planning buildings to installers handling projects of all sizes. DC microgrids should be easy to expand. In AC systems, extending a microgrid setup is often complex and requires simultaneous coordination between electricians and automation engineers, as two separate systems need to evolve in parallel. Current OS seeks to simplify this process, leveraging DC to provide scalable, flexible solutions. Finally, DC is taking building energy resilience to unseen levels, solving the new challenges of distributed energy sources. AC systems are optimized for consuming energy from the public grid. However, they become complex when local energy sources are involved. We know, for example, switching from a public grid supply to a genset supply requires specific transfer systems. 
When we develop local energy sources without limitation, we have to combine multiple solar panel arrays on rooftops and parking lots with distributed battery storage, and even vehicles' batteries can become backup power sources for a building. As local sources multiply, buildings gain in resilience and flexibility. However, new challenges arise that AC systems struggle to address. Current OS aims to resolve these issues with DC systems that enable a seamless integration of distributed energy sources. What are the benefits targeted by the current OS electrical rules? First, the rules define voltage bands, not just a single number, with the goal of achieving convergence among DC consortiums. Second, the rules address power management, significantly reducing the power demand on the public grid. This reduction makes installations far less reliant on the capacity availability from the public grid. They also ensure a smooth integration with the AC grid. Third, in terms of protection, the rules introduce a zoning system. Current OS prioritizes the use of electronic circuit breakers, which drastically lower incident energy levels and greatly simplify system design. These circuit breakers also enable significant savings on cabling requirements across various applications. Additionally, Current OS organizes the pre-charging process, a necessary and well-established method for safely energizing DC microgrids. Finally, the rules include provisions for earthing, recommending the TNS system alongside isolation between AC and DC installations. This approach is specifically tailored to the requirements of commercial buildings and installations. Note that earthing is commonly referred to in British English or grounding in American English. For consistency, we'll use earthing throughout this MOOC. We understand that this might sound unfamiliar to our American audience and appreciate your understanding. Together, these principles form a robust framework that is published in current OS system reference document, optimizing the design and implementation of DC microgrids, setting a new standard for safe, efficient, resilient, and sustainable power systems. We will discover in the next videos of this MOOC how current OS electrical rules were defined and how they operate. Before that, you might be wondering what current OS means. It stands for current operated system, reflecting its core principle. Electricity governs the system. For installations using current OS, voltage indicates available power, allowing devices to adapt their behavior dynamically. For example, devices can accelerate or slow down based on demand, manage their load efficiently, or feed power back into the grid. From solar panels and electric vehicles chargers to LED lights and electronics, all loads within the installation operate seamlessly together, creating a highly efficient and resilient solution. This concludes the introduction of Current OS. Want to learn more? Check out the other five Current OS MOOC videos covering voltages, power management, electrical protections, pre-charging, and earthing. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.